So with points in water, um, I'll get straight to it. Stay through the whole video, guys. It may save your drone in a similar situation. And by that, I mean anytime you're flying your DJI drone above water. You can expect the same for any DJI with downward obstacle avoidance. So, so for this real-time incident that occurred a few weeks ago, I have set up the flight while not on site. This is an area that I know well and I've been flying over for years. Waypoint 10 and 11 is where we see what happens here. So what's happening is, is that when you have like uh, translucent or, you know, sparkling uh, grounds or water, it's the um, sensors, they, in the way that it detects its height, it just gets out of whack. Um, I overlaid the actual altitude straight from the drone's flight. And as you'll see, the problem isn't with the actual number itself, which was 13 feet to then drop to six feet. Yeah, I know it's a risky move, but I digress. What's concerning is the fact of how far the drop went. Um, it's a surprise to me that the Mavic 3 was able to actually pull out from this. And hopefully, you know, this scenario will help you get uh, more acclimated with how to fly over water, but no. Another valid point to note is that when obstacle avoidance is set to bypass, your drone will always be fluctuating in its height uh, to bypass. So take that with a grain of salt. Let's take a look at that again, can we? Because I've heard a lot of stuff right there that kind of made it look kind of weird. So let's just go over it one more time. And uh, no editing or anything like that, just straight out of the, straight out of the camera. That was the closest, I mean, that was, that was, it looks like it was in the water, and, you know, the whole time that uh, this was happening, as you could see, it was below the tree line. I'm, I live, like, where it's flying right now, I'm, like, still, like, 6,000 feet that way, like, towards the direction it's flying. So I'm not, I don't have any connection to my remote during this. And um, when it came back, when the drone came back to me, and I was watching the clips, is when I, when I saw it, and I was like, what? And I looked over at the Maverick 3, and it was like soaking wet. I mean, it was soaking wet. And uh, I, I can't tell you how many I've done over the years of this river. Um, it's so much fun to do. And like, I don't, I'm never there on site to actually manually pick the waypoints. I do them, you know, by where I start a road. And uh, I've never had anything like this happen ever. Give yourself an extra buffer of, of space because that could have been a lot worse. Like, also, if you don't know the area and you're like, oh, I can just do a waypoint from my smart remote, I don't have to actually be there. You can, yeah, but know what you're doing. Like, know your area well because it doesn't matter sometimes if you do know it so well that, you know, things can happen. But um, especially if it's over water, um, I've always heard about, you know, the water issues in drones, but I've never actually experienced it and I've done it primarily. A lot of my stuff is over the water, so thank you so much for watching, and if this video was helpful or you liked it and you want to see more, because there's going to be more, always, um, go ahead and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. All right, have a great day. Take care of yourself.